All right, guys, I'm going to start a new series called the 10 minute marketing uh, series. Uh, and these are going to be 10 minute webinars. The reason I'm doing this is because I have a feeling you guys aren't really uh, watching the hour long webinars that we're doing, uh, even though they're important. I get it. Everybody's busy as hell. Everybody has a short attention span these days, but um, it's important to learn how to use the technology pieces that we have because they really are the tools that we have are incredible and uh, they're they're really kicking butt already for anybody that's using them. So I want to make sure you guys are using your tools effectively. So I'm going to keep this to 10 minutes. Uh, and I'm going to do uh, a, a more of these series so that we can, you know, you can take 10 minutes out of your day and try to learn one new thing each day for the next couple of weeks and you'll be, you'll be happy you did. Uh, first thing is check out the new hats. Uh, special prize for anybody who watches the video and then uh, messages me for uh, their prize or just post on the, on the post that I uh, put on Facebook that you watched it and you want one, but don't tell anybody what it is. So um, we got these great new Lux Group hats. Uh, they came out awesome, I love them. So here we go. The first um, series that I wanna do is stop uh, using MLS IDX listing share to, to share your listings on uh, Facebook. It's not gonna get you any leads. Um, and I'm gonna share my screen now and just walk you through how to share listings from your, um, from your, uh, from your website or from CirclePix instead of doing it from MOS, MOS uh, IDX. I'm gonna pick on Jeff uh, because I saw his post and it just, uh, when I see these, it drives me nuts because if you are sharing your listings from MOS IDX, people can come and go. Um, a, I don't think they look incredibly great. They're very kind of generic. And uh, they, people come and go, they can look at the listing all they want, and then they're gone. You never know that they might have been looking for a home. You never know whether they've come and gone. So that's not the way uh, you want to do this. You want to share it from uh, Circle Picks or you want to share it from your website. Let's jump over to your website first um, and sign into your website. If for some reason you can't get in your website, uh, first thing you do is you go to luxgrouphomes.com and on the top right hand corner, you log in. If you hit sign in and you don't know your password, use your email address that you use for the office and you can, for, you can um, reset your password. If you need any assistance, Nadine would be happy to help you get logged in. Uh, I'm gonna log in and this is all you have to do to share listings. You can share your own listings, you can share office listings, uh, you can share my listings, but this is free. You share it on Facebook, the more people you're connected to, the more chance you are you're gonna get leads. Um, and let's just click on properties here on the left-hand side. Um, you, if you know the property listing, you just start typing it in, hit enter, it's gonna bring up your property. So this is Jeff's property. So if Jeff was logged in, he could just click on it and then share, hit the share button. And you'll see, oh, I gotta scroll down a little bit. You'll notice a little Facebook share button came up after I hit share. Hit the Facebook button. It pops up into your Facebook account. You can choose if you want it to go on your timeline or if you want it to go on a business page that you have. Uh, obviously, I would say if you're going to run uh, advertising with it to boost an open house or boost a new listing um, or a, a relisting like this one, and then you want to do it to a business page first and then share it to your personal page. But you could just you could type in something here, hey, check out this awesome new listing. Um, and I'm going to just share it on office page. Um, and I'll show you guys uh, what happens after that after that takes place. So let's just uh, post it on the Lux group. I want to just say I'm gonna hit post to Facebook. And it's done, it's gone. So then if we go over to Facebook and we look at that, that business page, we're gonna see the listing. 
as long as we are not logged in to our, our, our actual website, so you want to make sure you're logged out so that you can see how it captures. Uh, anytime you're logged in, the, the capture mechanism for yourself won't work. So if you're trying to test it out, uh, make sure you log out of your system first. So boom, right away, before they can even look at the property, um, they have to register. So that's one way to do it. That's, that's a lead capture. Uh, and uh, I would highly recommend you do that. Some people say, oh, I don't want to be annoyed by having to register. I just want to see the pictures. Well, you know, I'm sorry. If you're interested in the property, you got to register. Uh, that, if you use that consistently and make sure you're connected to as many people as possible on Facebook and grow your connections to a thousand or more, you will get leads this way. And they're free and they're no cost to you to create these leads. So make sure you're, you're, you're using that feature. Um, and that's basically it for sharing listings. You also, if you're on your website, uh, make sure you go to your own website. So Tracy.LuxGroupHomes. And I'm going to search for properties in Shrewsbury, Mass, over $300,000. And I get the results page comes up. I can either leave it at, at this viewpoint, or I could even uh, change it to uh, a map view. If I change it to a map view, um, no matter what I, what I create for a, a page, uh, you can search anything, you can set it up however you want. Once you're happy with where you want to land someone, let's say you're like, okay, I like this. I want, I want buyers to land on this page and fool around. Then you just take uh, and click on the URL in the top window, uh, right click copy, and then go back over to your Facebook page. And we're just gonna, you can do it on a business page or you can do it on your personal page, it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna write something, you just uh, paste in what you just copied and it's gonna be, fet it's gonna fetch a preview. With these, when you're, when you're running ads for uh, price ranges or towns, you do have to add a photo. Uh, one of the things I showed uh, some people earlier was uh, everybody has a snippet tool on their computer. Sometimes in the bottom left-hand corner, you have that search button. If you just type in snippet, or if you're on a Mac, it's uh, the command, um, command four button. Oop, I'm sorry, that wasn't command four. Um, it's uh, command, now I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> but find the snippet tool on your computer, snip a picture of it, um, of maybe half the screen or part of the screen. And then you can just go in here and add a photo, find where you saved it on your desktop, or you could find a town picture anywhere online, whatever you want to do. Uh, add that picture in and take that out and say, uh, search for the hottest listings in Shrewsbury anytime or um, and save and get instant alerts when new properties hit the market all right so that's all we have to really do uh, we copied our link we added a photo and then just have to scroll to the bottom hit publish Now, once again, you can uh, preview it. And if anybody needs extra help with this, I'm happy to help. Once you click on it, now you'll see it takes you to exactly that page that you uh, left, left them with. So that's a couple different ways you can share postings on Facebook, both free on your business pages and personal pages, but then if it's on a business page, you could decide that you wanna boost it. We'll go over boosting in a separate uh, marketing piece. I just wanted to show you the basics for sharing listings and sharing price ranges on your um, your business page. Now I want to look at circle picks. Circle picks is the other way you, you can uh, share your listings. So I'm going to log in uh, to CirclePicks.com. If you uh, forgot your password or you don't didn't get the welcome email, it's your username and the default password is one two three four. 
If you can't get in one, one, two, three, four, click on forgot password and it'll walk you through the steps of resetting your password. If you, some of the welcome emails went to spam. Um, if they did, then you can just reset your password or try one, two, three, four. If it doesn't work, then you can contact Nadine. Um, but we're going to log in here. When you log in, please, the first thing you need to do, um, if you're in an agent account, and I'm going to just bump into an agent account because I'm right now I'm uh, on a uh, admin account. But when you first log in, it's going to probably say in the middle of the screen, hey, walk through and set up your, your, your social media setup. But if it doesn't, on the left-hand side here, you'll see social media setup and agent setup. Click on social media setup first. It'll walk you through all of the setup processes involved in setting up and connecting to your social media and setting up um, social media to uh, automatically run on your Facebook. And the stuff that it's, it's posting is great. We're getting a lot of interactions with it. So make sure you definitely um, get in there, set it up. If you have any questions, they have a live chat here. That's very helpful. Um, it, even if you get in there and half set it up and you run into a roadblock, it's fine. You can go back in there later. We can help you out. Just get in there and try to set it up because it, it, once you start running it, it's, it, there's some really great stuff that it's putting out there. And it does get a lot of looks and it gets a lot of interaction as what I'm seeing already. But the, the short version of what I wanted to show you guys is how to share your listings from here as well. Um, some of them will automatically go on there, but if you had a new listing, uh, all you'd have to do is come down here to uh, select a listing. And if you have the MOS number, you could just uh, search it there. Uh, you should see it, uh, your listings here, based on the listings you have active. And for some reason, it's not shown there. You can search it right here. Uh, but I'm just going to show you one right now. So 20, 26 Sprague, I'm going to select that listing. And what I would probably say you want to probably share is you probably want to share um, your, um, the, the MOS compliant version is going to automatically go to MOS. The, those tours are automatically going to go there. You either want to share your YouTube link, uh, for the YouTube video, um, or you want to, um, just go to the virtual tour link. Let's go to the virtual tour link. I'll Welcome show, home. Show this incredible this resident is 1,448. Uh, next week when we have training, we will go over how to re-record those if you want to record your own voice on these instead of having that computer generated voice. But uh, these are a little bit less of a lead capture than using your website to share your listings. But I would do a mix of the both because these are nice looking uh, websites that are basically set up for your listings. If you scroll down through them, it's got all your listings in it. It's got mortgage calculators, printable brochures, public school information, walking scores, weather, um, et cetera. So there's some really nice stuff on here. And um, it's definitely worth, worth um, you know, sharing on Facebook. So if you wanted to just share that tour on Facebook, you could just click on the, the Facebook button and it'll take you over to, oh, it'll, it's actually taking you over to your Facebook page. Um, but you can just take the link for that and post it into Facebook as one of the ways you can share it. They're automatically going to share to your Facebook um, once you have your account set up and you'll see that those look nice and they're, uh, they just kind of land on your Facebook automatically. Uh, but if you wanted to share, you could just click on the share button and I'm going to share on social media and um, click on Facebook and you can see it's going to, I'm going to share this one. Let me share this one on my uh, group TRB page and then we'll take a look at what that looks like. So I'm just going to, I might say, check this great listing out. I'm running short on time frame here. So I'm just going to post this on Facebook and then I want to go back over to Facebook and show you guys what that looks like. Oh, let me go back to my page. Oh, someone loves our new science. <laughs> All right, let me get into the group TRV page and show you that uh, tour that I just shared from CirclePix.
So there's the uh, tour I uh, shared from CirclePix. Welcome home. This is much incredible. better looking than the IDX. And, you know, people that are connected to you online, they're sellers also. So if you're, you've got a lot of friends on Facebook, you have to think about this from a perspective of, you know, you're putting out an image to both buyers and sellers. So I would uh, be mixing in with both the website and the circle picks, uh, you know, information on your, on your listings and your tours. The other reason you want to share with both also is the website's going to capture leads and it's also going to get a number of hits on your website. Uh, but you'll also see that on the CirclePex account, um, you can also see uh, kind of, you'll get actually emails, you probably, some of you have got them already, on how many tour hits your listings are getting uh, through the, the different sources that it goes out to. Because again, it also goes out to uh, Zillow and Truly and all those other websites that MLS feeds into and some that, it, that, that this one feeds into automatically. So you want to make sure that you're sharing them through here. Some of it will happen automatically once you set up your social media uh, and posting preferences under the, um, you know, under the le left-hand side where you have your, your account information, the social media section. Um, and some of it, you know, sometimes you'll want to post those manually as well, like I just did. Just click on the tour view again and Welcome click on the share button and just share on social media because uh, the more you share it the more you put it out there the more that your friends share it your sellers share these things the more attraction you're going to get to that listing and the more uh information you're going to get as well in your email account uh as far as how many hits you're getting and let me see if i can find one of the reports um I had one earlier here, weekly stats report. So you'll get these weekly stats reports that'll show how many tour views you've had. So we haven't really been doing much with this yet. And some of these, pro like Pine Street alone, just from the shares has gotten 186 hits. Uh, you can click on more stats as well, and you can print these reports out for your seller um, and, and or send them to them. And it's just a, you know, a great look at, Hey, you know, we're marking your property, you know? And, uh, so between the website and that consistently posting is going to get you leads. It's going to get you more sellers. It's going to sell your properties better. It's going to make sure you can keep your listings longer, get the price reductions you need. So please stop posting through IDX, the uh, MOS and start using your website and using circle picks. And, uh, that's it. I want to end this so we don't go over and, uh, and hopefully you find this useful.